David Paulson passed away yesterday. And, you know, it led me to think about a few things. You know, um, I was probably been 10, 15 years ago when I met him. He came to Kansas City. He was teaching on some eschatology and great Bible teacher. And, but he, he kind of, you know, it challenged me. One of the things that he challenged me with was this. And, you know, we were just sitting at a table and I just, and I was talking to him and talking to him about some stuff that I was wanting to do at the time. And, and he said something. He said, you seem to be too busy. He said, you need to figure out what God's called you to do not what you think you should do. And it really challenged me, and it made me think, you know. And so I, I took some time in prayer and, and just spent some time and said, hey, this is what I should be doing, this is what I shouldn't be doing. You know, um, I was actually planning a trip in Nepal at the time, and, you know, I realized that trip in Nepal wasn't, what I should be doing at that time, um, that I had certain priorities that I needed to focus in on at home, not necessarily going to Nepal. So I did that, and um, you know, and I it, it helped me really focus in on what was important for me at the time, and what I shouldn't be doing. And there was a whole list of things that I was wanting to do that necessarily wasn't what the Lord wanted me to do. And it was through David Paulson that I really thought that through. Um, you know, and I just met him that one time, but I felt that, you know, that conversation really impacted me. It made me rethink some of the stuff that I was doing and some of the, the values that I had had and things that were important and making sure I had my priorities straight, you know, and you know that's kind of what's been going on here lately in the last few weeks is kind of the, a season of getting what's important back to what's important and what's not as important, not placing value on them like I used to. So that's. You know, it's it's odd that he passed away yesterday in the middle of the season where this is happening because it was through a conversation I had with the guy and it was a three minute conversation at most, but it, it really led me to rethink um, kind of what was going on and, and the value um, that I place on things. And, and I'm still you know, I haven't arrived. There's still things that I'm working through, but I've learned to value, um, to play, learned to do these values, this, this value evaluation. You know, and, and I need to do it probably about once a year and go, hey, this is important, this is not important. This is what I should be doing, this is what I shouldn't be doing. That That isn't, you know, the, this list here isn't going to get me where I want to go and do what I want to do. And if it's not necessarily about what the calling is and the commission is, I shouldn't be doing it. So, and it, it's not easy to have these conversations, but you know, came from a guy that's known as a theologian. Okay, he's not known as a pastoral type. He's not known as a, a type to give those type of conversations, but he, he felt led, I, I assume he felt led, to how to say what he said and it made me really evaluate things and you know I was expecting some deep theological conversation it didn't happen it was a pastoral conversation of all things and I'm not a pastor I don't want to be a pastor you know but to, to sit and tell someone that values the, the word of the Lord values the move of the spirit evangelist to say, hey, you're, you're too busy, you're doing things that you shouldn't be doing. Um, it challenged me, and you know, and, and you know, and he, there was a, that whole season was just kind of a transformation, and I'm kind of going through that now again, and it's odd, like I said, it's just odd that it happened right now. I mean, the guy was well advanced in years, so it's not like 
super or out of the ordinary, but this made me think. See ya. God bless you.